Well, good afternoon guys, how are you all doing? It's um, quarter past two now. Um, if I seem a little bit different or a little bit strange um, and my, my look is slightly different as well, it's because I'm on day three of my water fast. Now, <laughs> water fast means that I'm doing a fast with only water, not not drinking water. <laughs> I put that on social media and they went, oh, you should really be drinking water. <laughs> it's an expression, water fast means just drinking water. And that's what I'm doing. So day one was a little um, bit funky, bit strange. Um, like you have to get into the rhythm of it. The day two, I was on top of the world. Day three now, um, I can feel the toxins now. I can feel uh, all the toxins and I've been on the toilet um, uh, clearing, flushing away the toxins. So basically, I'm drinking lots of water. And the water goes through the system and <clears throat> when there's no food in there, the whole body then starts to detoxify detoxification they call it I'm not um, a master or um, somebody who knows much about this I take um, advice from Don Tolman and people like Leila Satie who uh, help me through how to do this properly um, day four or possibly day five will be a bentonite bentonite clay so I'll be drinking clay with um, seed shells so mix together, drink that down. And basically what happens is it the shells clear all the colon. So it's basically a colon cleanse. And, it, and um, the clay and the, the shells of the seeds just uh, basically uh, give it a good scrub and rub and clear all the um, old meats that I've eaten uh, for all my life. And uh, they say that if you become uh, vegan, or I say if you decide not to eat meat, the meat stays inside your system for seven years. That's what I've been told. But for me, I can feel these toxins leaving my body now. Um, and um, energy wise, high, then low, high. And uh, am I hungry? Not at all. Uh, a lot of people uh, get this thing in their head that oh you mean you're not eating oh you fasting you you mean oh you must be hungry no you don't you're not hungry at all the only thing that you fight against is your emotions because the toxicity the toxins that are in your body need to come out and they don't want to come out they're really you know you really need to fight them out you need to get them out and they want to stay there they don't want to go and they hide behind heavy metals in your body so this is the time now that you know an extended fast for me is important because I want to clear out the heavy metals and any illness that may occur or may try to occur it's not always the case that um, you do these things because you're ill you should do them to prevent illness so if you are ill in any way uh, if you've got any kind of diseases um, uh, whatever they are whatever diseases that you may hold uh, I would strongly recommend um, a fasting um, start by maybe one day and then two days and then three days and extended fasting um, which is now um, three, four, five, six, seven up to um, you know 14 and then some people then when they start body start to get used to that they, some people like Don Tolman do 40 days um, so you know, um, when you do extended fasting for longer and longer, longer periods, I think it's important that you should be doing that alongside somebody else so you can help each other and always look out for each other to see if everything's okay. Um, but anyway, hey ho, I'm, you can see now there's a lot of shifts and change, my energy's changing. And what a great day today to talk about something which is all about energy, energy shifts. And uh, what is energy? And a lot of people say to me, how do you see energy, Mark? And I say, well, <clears throat> I only started seeing energy because I started to see things in a different way. So most of us, and don't take this the wrong way, I don't mean this negative, because I was like that. Most of us only see in one direction. All we see is one perception, one 
one dimension, whatever you want to call it, but this is all we see. So I see the trees, I see the sky, I see people walking up and down, I see the things in this room. That's what I see, that's what I'm led to believe. So what I've done is cut off the whole of my life seeing anything else. And the reason why is because I've trained my eyes to only see the solid, but you are and you can um, train your eyes to see something else. When you think out of the box, when you start to look and uh, see and feel deeper. So it means that your intuition becomes more heightened. Now, what is intuition? Intuition is a feeling, but sometimes it's also connected to your hearing and it's also connected to what you say and what you see. So it's very deep is intuition. And, and you know, some people can see um, in a different way than others. Um, a bit like if somebody's blind, they hear a, a lot more stronger because their senses become more powerful, right? Well, if you start to use your senses of your psychic, your your uh, empathic, your your all these feelings that you you heighten and work on, you start to see and feel things and hear things differently. So. Energy is a great start today. Let's talk about energy and uh, let me try and explain to you how we can make a start, at least make a start of how to uh, see energy because you're going to say, well, what, what, I don't understand. And well, I'm, you know, I'm going to try and take you through a few steps. And one of them is the, um, the scene in a different way. And if you understand what I mean by seeing in a different way, then it might help you see differently. Okay, so so first of all, what I'm going to do a little, uh, a little. Uh, it's not a trick, but you can see I've got two fingers here, right? You can see these fingers very clearly. What I want you to do is only look at those two fingers. Don't focus your eyes anywhere else but just look at those two fingers. Are you looking at them? So watch them two fingers and keep watching, keep watching the fingers, keep watching the fingers, keep watching the fingers, keep watching them. Now, as you see these two fingers, okay, what do you see? You see two fingers, okay? Now, pull them away. Now, I want you to look in a different way. I don't want you to focus on the fingers at all. What I want you to do is focus on my eyes. I want you to look deep into my eyes, okay? So don't look at the fingers, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes, look at my eyes. Can you see my eyes? 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 Now as you're looking at my eyes, focus, keep looking at my eyes, but focus your attention on my fingers on your fingers now. Focus your attention on your fingers because you're doing the same as me. You're doing exactly the same as me. Okay, sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. It doesn't matter. So do that with your fingers, okay? But look at me. Look at my eyes, okay? So as you're looking at me, your fingers are where my fingers are, but then if you look carefully around the room, even though you're looking at me directly into my eyes, all of a sudden now, you can still look around the room, but still look into my eyes. Your vision is able to see around the room. And if you look at your fingers without looking at your fingers, do you understand what I'm saying? Look in my eyes, don't stop looking in my eyes. But you can see there's a little sausage in between your two fingers, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, look at your fingers. No, there's only two fingers there. Now, look at me again. Can you see the sausage in between your two fingers? Okay, practice now. I guess what I'm trying to say there is that when you look past what you think you're looking at, you see a different image, a different perception to it. And it might be you saying, yeah, but that's because I'm looking at you and, and, and of the vision. Maybe, but what I'm trying to tell you is this. When you look past what you're looking for, you see what you need to see. So a really good trick to do is when you finish this is to go outside and I'd look, just find a tree, look for a tree. And when you see that tree, I want you to look up to these top branches and around the tree. And I want you to look past the tree, just like we did just then, look past it and then look at the tree, but still looking past it, 
you'll start, you'll start to see energy around the tree. Once you start to practice this, then you start to realize, wow, I'm seeing something around the tree. And that's called a life force. That's what many people talk about, that they can read your aura or your energy. Anybody can. Anybody can read energy. Anybody can read it once you see it. So from there, what I'd like you to do is sit down somewhere nice and comfortable and take yourself some sacred oil or Moldavite oil and put yourself just one drop, just one drop, and with that one drop, I want you to take it and put it here. Just rub it there, okay? Um, Moldavite oil does a great job as well. And um, I, I guess any of them, the healing, cleansing, will all stimulate that part. But the Moldavite and the sacred will really, really help you open up and see more clearly. Beyond the beyond. Look beyond and you will see what's in front of you, okay? So... Once you've done that, rub that, that's all you need to do. Maybe a few deep breaths, blowing out all the toxins. And then I want you to sit comfortable and look at the sky. And as you look at the sky, I want you to look past the sky. Don't look towards anything other than just past the sky. Look past the sky. Don't try and look and pinpoint anything in the sky. Just look past it. Just let your eyes look past. And as you look past, as I see now, there are thousands of little tiny different dots, specks, long cigar shapes, and they're really bright. And some are flying around all over my eyes now, everywhere all over there, up there, there, thousands of little tiny bits of energy. And if you keep focusing your eyes past everything, you begin to see energy creating more shapes, unusual patterns and more movements, okay? I'd like you to give that a try today. I would like you to try and do that for the next seven days, okay? And then when you've done that, what I really would love you to do is then start to look at people and look past them. So if a person is here, I want you to look past them, look past and then watch the energy around them start to appear. And that's the life force. So today, guys, this is the first little step towards seeing energy like I started to see energy. Give it a try. Use your beautiful Moldavite oil. Use your beautiful sacred oil. If you don't have them, any of the other oils will still be equally as amazing. Don't focus on anything. Now, when you are looking up at the sky, you will be um, uh, tested. Okay, that's your mind or birds or anything that'll try and put you off. Okay, this often happens. But say to yourself, if I can be stronger like the guru when a fly lands on their nose and it doesn't affect them, then I have mastered the art of total and pure concentration. When you have concentration, you can then attune into different vibrations, different energies, and thus you then able to communicate and connect with the spirit world far more easier. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you at day four of my water fast. I hope you're all doing really well. Miss you all, love you all. Take care of yourselves and thank you. Thank you so much for buying your oils, your incense from mattbayeski.com. I really appreciate it. We've been working hard today on wrapping and packing. They should all be with you very soon. <laughs> so from my heart to yours, have a great day, guys. Take care.